In today's video, the things you need to know when you're getting down to 10% body fat, like I did here, and the things you need to know about staying there. And we're starting right now. Hey guys, this is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, I'm gonna discuss with you the idea of getting down to 10% body fat, what you have to do to get there, how to make it actually look the way you want it to look, and we're also gonna talk about how you sustain it once you get there. And I really wanna get these points across quickly to you so you can put these plans into action. Now, today's question comes from right here on my Instagram direct message. So if you guys wanna send me questions, send me my Instagram direct message, or subscribe to my channel and then send me a comment below and I try to reply to all the comments as often as I can. So I appreciate you guys. This is our year. Now, the thing that's gonna happen this year is our Transformation Challenge, which really kicks off here pretty soon. So if you're interested in being a part of the Transformation Challenge, and I'll put some of the people on the screen here that, well, guess what? They reached 10% body fat, so it fits right into today's topic. I'm gonna to tell you about, I did interviews with all of them, and I wanna to talk to you about what makes people successful in reaching 10% body fat and how you can maintain it. What are the keys to sustaining that 10% body fat look year round? Thanks. Now, I think everybody realizes that diet nutrition plays a huge role when it comes to reaching 10% body fat. If you're not paying attention to your nutrition, if you're not being consistent, if you don't actually have good practices, then it's all a wash. And I've done a lot of diet videos, but I wanna give you the number one tip of most successful people that lose weight and keep it off. Because ultimately, getting to 10% body fat for most people is about losing weight, losing body fat. So what is the most important thing that most people do that other people that don't have success in weight loss do? They meal prep. They cook their meals ahead of time and they keep them in their fridge. This has actually been backed up by research by people that have lost a lot of weight and kept it off. Now, our goal is to reach 10% body fat and be shredded, okay? That means we gotta have some lean body mass. But guess what bodybuilders do? They prep their meals. So you're starting to get the picture, guys. If you're not already meal prepping, cooking some food, putting it aside, then you're probably making a, a big mistake because you're trying to eat on the run or estimate your numbers and you're probably way off. Okay, so that's the first place to start. Now, if you guys want a full on, full day of eating, maybe even meal prep and grocery, I've never done that. But if I get enough comments below about it, I will do that video. So another important factor in getting down to 10% body fat, and I would like to put some, some, some videos here of some of my friends that are actually clients of mine, competitors, people like Brian DaCosta, Colin DeWay, that have gotten to this 10% body fat and looked amazing and I'll put those on the screen here. One of the things that I really wanna share about that is the rate of fat loss is so important when it comes to getting to 10% body fat, but also staying there. Research is very clear on this. If you lose a lot of weight quickly, you are at risk of losing lean body mass. And I can promise you, if you get to 10% body fat and you have no muscle, you're not gonna be happy with the look. When we envision 10% body fat, if you're watching this channel, you envision it with lots of muscles, perhaps some vascularity. You know, you get a nice pump in the gym and you look really good. Perhaps you're even envisioning a six pack of abs, some defined core. If you lose all your lean body mass, when you do reach 10% body fat, you're gonna end up looking terrible, feeling terrible, and the likelihood of a rebound is very high. So first things first, if you've got a lot of body fat to lose and your goal is to reach 10% body fat, don't do it in one shot. Do it in chunks. Try to lose some weight and then maintain for a little bit lose one to one and a half percent of your body weight per week. Now, if you're very, very overweight, hundreds of pound overweight, this doesn't apply, okay? The further you are from 10%, the faster you can lose weight. The closer you are to 10%, the slower you need to lose weight. All right, so I mentioned to you that a couple of my friends, my clients, get to this 10% body fat level and they maintain it. So I wanna tell you some of the things that I noticed that they do that not everyone else does, and that is they develop a lifestyle around staying 10% body fat because for most people that is going to require maintenance. You're not gonna be able to just get to 10% body fat and then just never worry about your nutrition, your cardio, your training again, no. Instead, you develop a system where your nutrition, your cardio, your daily routine has what has allowed you to get there is something that you can maintain. This is something I will say to all my clients. It's a lot harder to lose the body fat than it is to keep it off, meaning, Sometimes you have to do a lot of cardio, do low calories. Sometimes you have to do this for a long period of time. But once you reach a low body fat level, you can bring your calories up, you can drop your cardio, you'll have more energy, and you can maintain this leanness. But getting there is the hard part. Why do most people fail? I'll tell you why. Because the goal of reaching 10% body fat is not important to them. 
they want to look better for say aesthetic purposes but if something comes along that interests them a little bit more they say you know what Never mind. I don't need to be 10% body fat because now I'm dating this awesome girl. I don't need to be 10% body fat because I got a job promotion or some other thing came up that kind of circumvented that goal. You need a defined goal. Guess what? I've got that for you too. The 90 day transformation challenge, your opportunity to win $50,000 in cash that can help you. But more than that, what I find is that the people that are fighting for that 10% body fat and they're able to maintain it, they find something that means something to them. So the 90 day transformation challenge that Pro Physique runs, yes, it is a competition, but it's more about changing your lifestyle because I found fitness, I got shredded, and it had an immense impact on my life. And I want that for everybody. And while I know everybody doesn't need to do a bodybuilding competition, there is value in setting a goal, having a deadline, and learning to make adjustments to your life because of that deadline. Because if you're always putting things off until Monday, you're always putting things off until New Year, you're always putting things off until next month when you get past that one event, you're never gonna get it done. Make the decision, whatever it is, a photo shoot, a vacation, a date on your calendar, and every day between now and then, you do something to improve yourself. All right guys, that's how you get to 10% body fat and maintain it. Hope you guys are having an awesome Thursday and Happy New Year. Talk to you soon.